Kramer uh, joins us now. I don't know, Jim, there's about 100 different things we could talk about. But, uh, you know, I, I follow you on Twitter religiously, as you know. And let's just talk about Delta and the variant and, and what you think it, it means or doesn't. You know, we're talking to Scott, Dr. Scott Gottlieb a little bit earlier about what really does seem like uh, the possibility that Pfizer and Moderna, uh, you know, after after some period of time, are really going to uh, have these breakthrough infections and whether you think that's going to change uh, people's behavior over the next couple of months. I think it will. I mean, I just got my antibodies tested. I'm anxious to be able to get the FDA to approve this. We, obviously, no doctor wants to go until they do, which is a shame because it's pretty clear you need the booster. I have Moderna. Uh, I also think that this is a, there's a lot more breakthroughs than people are talking about. We don't get good data. Uh, you have to be ready with the monoclonal antibodies. I like Regeneron. That stock is really hot. You can tell that's because I think, among other things, monoclonal antibodies are, are uh, the sales are good. And, and that's actually bad, of course. I, I think that the people who are not going for the mandate are foolish. I think that Frank Del Rio uh, expressed a pretty good, important position, which is that we have no leadership. I don't really understand what President Biden's doing at all. Ron Klain, what are they doing? So. Uh, I think we've got to be prepared. The only guy who seems prepared is, is Fed Chief Powell, who seems to recognize that this, this is going to impact pretty hard and the breakthroughs are coming. Well, when you say it's going to impact hard, um, what, what do you think that means for the economy in the short and longer term? Is this a, a couple of months, you know, in terms of how you think about what's going to happen and then there'll be enough boosters for everybody? Is this something that gets pulled out even farther? Does it really change people's behavior? We're starting to see it with I, airlines I and does. travel and the like. I mean, I saw, what, seven people died in a nursing home last night, uh, yesterday in Paris, in, Florida, in France. They were all vaccinated. Uh, I think that the Lambda variant is, I mean, I'm not trying to scare people to saying the way it is. The Lambda variant, we're not ready for uh, the idea that this whole thing is optional. If I hear one more person say, you know, we're urging them to get vaccines, but we're not saying you have to, I th that's just nonsense. I think the airlines, other than United, have been complete cowards. Uh, and I think that the people who refuse to even check and have a passport, I think they're cowards, too. You have to, you have to bite the bullet here. We can't. We got to stop this thing. And Frank Del Rio is dead right. Uh, the sooner we do it, the better. But we're also going to get more variants if we don't do something. The president's showing no leadership on this whatsoever. Sorry to be political, but this is really business now. It's, it's going to uh, affect Jim, all of our business. I, business Jim, you slow. and I... Uh, you and I agree on this uh, in very, very many ways, but I'm, I'm going to I'll throw a, a curveball at you, which is that if you're running a company like and I'll give you some examples, a Walmart, an Amazon, a UPS, a Federal Express, where some of them have actually uh, mandated vaccines in their corporate office, but haven't uh, out in uh, their uh, what might be described as among their blue collar workers, they are demonstrably worried that if they were to do so, that they would create an even bigger supply chain problem because people would walk off the job. What do you do? Well, I mean, I think that if you look at, at the companies that have had just gigantic uh, a rash of these uh, uh, of infections, that's a short sighted view. They should be offering at their at their places. They should be offering the vaccines. Same thing with uh, J.P. Morgan. Same thing with Goldman Sachs. They should be right, right there. A station and just offer the vaccine. Hopefully, uh, after the FDA, whatever they're, whatever the hell they're doing, decide to give it regular approval. I mean, we really just, as a nation, we completely botched this. And uh, the fact that there's no regular approval from the FDA gives people a lot of opportunity to say, I'm not taking it. But I I've changed my behavior entirely. Uh, back to mask everywhere, back to not wanting to be inside. Why? Because, like, I, I read, if you read, it, it tells you to do it. I mean, Andrew, you and I both know, OK, that Delta is out of control and we act as if everything's fine because a lot of people are vaccinated. That's clearly not working. Why would Frank Del Rio yep. try to get everybody vaccinated? Be willing to turn away a lot of people. Uh, you know, well, I don't know if you heard uh, Eric repair this morning on Bern uh, Liv Bernadette on Saul of his excellent, excellent show. He, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come. Period. End of story. Because he wants to have a safe place. That's going to be the way of the future. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.